Recently, I've been on this binge fest of African magic local telenovelas just after I watched Riona. And I got introduced to this local drama called Enake by my friend. She was like, Please, please don't watch it now. It's good. It has dogs. It has family ruling dogs and uh, so many things. And I told her, but first, I have speculations watching this mostly because I have never heard of that name before, Enake. But you guys know I don't discriminate. Actually, in my school, there was a boy named Yes. Don't ask me why his name was named Yes, because I asked him for a solid six years and he did not answer me. But I don't discriminate. I treated Yes with love and affection even though his name is weird as hell. But I told myself, let me give this local drama a chance, but I had to read the synopsis first. Enake set in the modern day Benin city tells the story of a rebellious daughter. As soon as I heard the word daughter, I knew I would be watching this. If there are girls in the series, sign me up guys, sign me up. It's about the dark side of Benin, filled with criminals and family that run this criminal empire. They also deal with drugs, all sorts of drugs, cocaine and weed. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what drugs they deal with. Episode 1 really showed how gangster the local drama would be. This boy stole salt and as we were following him, you see some men chase this other guy. Oh, they, they caught him. Hey, that won't be painful. But this guy they caught was then tortured to spill out information about this man named Chief Osage. And the funny thing is Chief Osage is Loki a top gun in the group of ogres, if that makes sense. <laughs> Enake, who is this lady doing what I legit, I'm not even lying guys, I can't do what she's doing at the moment. Well Enake in this episode was portrayed as a strong independent lady that is so strong and independent that she doesn't want a man to help her with yoga. This guy tried helping her in a weird way and she initially did not allow him help her but but this guy, I don't know for some reason, has a way with his words and she was like, okay, let me allow him just for him to help her <laughs> and then he left her hanging. <laughs> nice one, bro. Nice one. <laughs> we don't get much information about her in this episode except she seems like someone that is going through a lot mentally, emotionally and this guy also engaged her in the episode. Who is he? I don't know yet. <laughs> but one thing I know about him, he is also having this affair with this other lady. So when he proposed to Enake, she actually thought he was proposing to her. <laughs> Tough life. Don't play with Benin boys, man. Don't play with Benin boys. They'll cheat on you. <laughs> the women in the series are also tough. Take for instance, this man's wife, Miss Latifa. She is so gangster that even though she knows her husband is cheating on her, she rather confronts the side chick to leave her husband alone. And when she did not accept the money that was given to her, guess what she did next? I'll give you guys time to guess. Okay, guess, guess. She put her in the boots. Gangster. Margaret, who is also this lady here, is literally the mastermind in her household. She controls the hell out of Osage. And she's also up to some things that at this point, I don't know because I've only watched episode one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel so far the heart of the drama is how dark it can get and how believable a lot of characters are. Because for me, I have not seen most of these characters act before. Callistus, <laughs> I love that name. Callistus is so scary that I think he is the only man that is capable of asking me to give him my phone my wife and my four kids and i won't think twice about giving him all of them but i'm going to definitely miss my phone man <laughs> chief osage also sounds like an exaggerated version of a benign man and i find him quite funny while a pa just rules with fear he laughs with everyone but something about him screams don't get too comfortable i am in control so yeah i would definitely be watching it it shows every day by 8 30 pm on african magic channel 151 tell me in the comment section if you'll be watching it with me and also tell me if you want me to review more episodes because I'm, I'm going to be doing it why, man? <laughs>